First at six, a family and community grieving the loss of three young children from the same family killed this morning while boarding their school bus in Fulton County. And tonight, the driver police say hit them is under arrest facing criminal charges. It happened around 730 on State Road 25 at County Road 400 North northeast of Rochester. That's nearly two hours north of Indianapolis. The children are identified as six year old twin brothers Xavier and Mason Engel and nine year old Olivia Stahl. A fourth child not from the same family was also hit and in serious condition. RTV6's Matthew McClellan is live tonight from a mobile home park near the crash site where families send their children to that bus stop with new developments. Matt. Good evening, Erica. The crash site now clear after shutting down for most of the day. You can see the road is clear. Traffic has been moving along, but the new development here tonight is that 24 year old Alyssa Shepard from Rochester, Indiana. She's the suspect in this crash. She was arrested just after four booked in the Fulton County Jail. She now faces three counts of reckless homicide and one count of disregarding a stop arm causing injuries. The stop arm, of course, was out at the time of the crash. We've learned state police say Shepard is cooperating with investigators. Now, the identities of these three children, twin brothers and their older sister, just confirmed to us this afternoon. The family confirming all three kids attended Mentone Elementary School. Now, I just spoke with their uncle, who through tears described each of these three children. All three of them were really shy. Uh, but once you get under that shyness, the two boys were a life spark. They were nonstop, happy go fast, jump high, boys. They were American boys, how they were supposed to be raised. And the girl, Olivia, my niece, she was the kindest child you'll ever meet. She treated those boys more like a mother than a sister. She held their hand to the school bus and onto the bus every day. And she was, hand, she was holding their hand when they were hit. And it looks like she tried to shield him a little bit. So to her, I'd say, way to be a badass, man. She had a split second to think of what to do, and she chose to shield her brothers with that split second. And you can hear the emotion in that uncle's voice. The Tippecanoe New Valley School Corporation releasing a statement saying they are deploying all school counselors to be there for staff, students, and parents. Also asking for prayers from the community. Still a lot of questions as this community deals with their unspeakable grief tonight. We're working to learn whether there's a prayer vigil or memorial service planned this evening. As soon as we know of a time and a place, we'll head that way. Bringing you the latest on the News at 7. Reporting from Fulton County, Matthew McClellan, RTV6. Just heartbreaking, especially hearing from that uncle. Thank you, Matt.